welcome back to my channel I'm gonna do a flip through of my 2020 project life 12 by 12 album I am going to show you it is um, August right now but I'm gonna show you the first six months I went back through my video catalog and I realized I haven't been showing you my flip throughs of this quarterly <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> so um, I'm gonna do just January through June and then I'll save July through the end of the year for another one Unless, um, if you leave the comments down below, I can show you at least this one will be six months, and then I can do the three months, and then three months, and then you can kind of get more of my pages um, based on how it's been going. So, 2020, yes, is a year of our pandemic, and I've tried to keep my album as happy go lucky as possible. Um, what I've also realized is that during this pandemic, um, in past years when you've seen my flip through I've always had at least one or two spreads you know both of the 12 by 12s um, for the month you know my favorite pictures this and the other and I think I've been so engrossed with quarantine and making sure I keep Valentina active and creative and happy that I've been printing pictures like crazy to prove to myself I guess in years to come that I made this year as best as I humanly possibly could for her. I'm sure other mothers are feeling the same way, but so let's get started. Let me <laughs> compose myself and gather my tears. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's like already starting off with like this emotional runt, which I'm sure I'm not the only one that feels this way. Um, I, I do keep the beginning of all my albums. I always have these like little pocket folders by Project Life keeping just some ephemera and cards and funny mail that's come through and things that I'll uh, just kind of reflect on the year. I mean, I even have this match just to save that says Combat COVID on there because this stuff is definitely going to be memorable for years to come when we flip through this. So for my opening page, I didn't finish it because I wanted to pitch a quick of Valentine at the beginning of the year. I can still print it. Uh, but the paper pad is from a Michael's um, Hot Buy, so it was all black and white and gold. For this spread, I kept it very purple um, so that it stays cohesive and blue. I believe this is a paper pad from Hobby Lobby. It's one of the, like, uh, Constellation Stars. And I like to do screenshots of funny memes I see. This is Coca Melons of a YouTube um videos that my daughter loves that are nursery rhymes. Um, this is a screenshot of artwork from an artist that I follow on Instagram. In the beginning of the year, if we recall, Australia had those really bad like forest fires that were affecting the wildlife and that's what this caption's about and Valentina was sick so I knew I took her to the beach this week. Um, I always try to use scrapbook paper more than once to always have the layout be cohesive. And then this is another screenshot because um, my word for the month, word for the year is embrace. Um, pictures of my sister and stuff and just family pictures that we had going on. Um, Kobe Bryant died at the end of January. That was sad. Um, this is still a paper pad from Die Cut with the View and I think this is the A side and then this was the B. So that's how I kind of, like I said, always keep layouts cohesive. If I choose one scrap of paper and it has two sides, I'll share them both within my layout. This has been a fun paper collection by At Michaels. It was called, I think, Color Splash, and it had this rainbow gold foil. You've seen layouts with it, and this is me sh um, showcasing the State Fair, fried Oreos, and our tickets to get in. Uh, she had an ice cream cone, carousel ride. This is a fun photo taken by a photographer randomly at a park. I appreciated it. And then I made this for our social media. I'm a chiropractor, so it says, stop bugging Google for your back pain and go see your Cairo. I clearly forgot journaling there. Still February, we've got some, a February like Valentine's Day collection. Um, I love like silhouette pictures like this. Um, what else? So this, this was a hand uh, print that I think I did for Allie Edwards that I didn't use. Some black and whites, time with her cousin. Valentine's Day spreads. So I took it to a little park. Um, this was an old, I think, Studio Calico collection uh, paper. And these are thickers from the same picker, uh, thicker collection. I participated in Allie Edwards's Pieces of Me. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Oop, that was too much. Um, in which we had to do different prompts for a week. So your feet, your hands, the full face, which is where I got my profile picture from. And then um, 
I never did the eye shut. This one is blank <laughs> right here. <laughs> I should fill that in. Um, cropped face, full body, and then your reflection. It was a good one. I feel like I want to do this again, like recreate it every year in February. It was it was good, and I did change the page layout. So everything is always the two horizontal 4 by 6 and this has the two vertical 4 by 6 So just change the layout for that one. Um, again, keeping the colors the same. We tried potty training at the end of February. That was not successful. I have been consistent with keeping the month card so we know we are, where we are always in time so I don't have to date all the pictures. So this has really helped in the last, I think, two years I've done this. I like that and I will continue to do that for years to come. Um, my sister started the 52 week hike, 52 hike challenge. So this was, I think, number one. Started in March when pandemic happened. It was something just to get her out of the house. She lives in New Jersey. Um, finished some of my favorite perfume. Baby Shark is really big. We always have some painting going on. And then this is when the pandemic happened for us. So this is probably like that March 13th time. And <laughs> pictures of the everyone, you know, buying paper products and just memes and what our parking lot looked like at our clinic. It was just very quiet. Um, this was the weekend right before, well, the weekend that it got called to be a national emergency, but our pool, our community pool had been open, so these were just some action shots that I lastly got, and I brought her a tricycle um, so that we can teach her um, in the quarantine occurring. We definitely, um, everyone got scared, you know, so we, we hunkered down, we bought a lot of food and made the best of it. We bought the basketball set, the t-ball set, and we got a pool for the backyard. <laughs> Um, she, you know, used her car. These are some screenshots that I saw on social media. My one of my quarantine uh, projects was to paint the mural on her wall, so I got all the flowers up. April starts, so here's that April card. Um, you know, pictures at the park. Notice that it says playground close. I was taking them as much as I can. The new social distancing stickers at Target. I made masks. We organized the pantry during quarantine. I was sewing this dress for her, so that was a handmade one. Playing outside with the basketball hoops, soccer, Easter time with no Easter bunny, but it's okay. It's when they had the hospital, the, what is it, the Navy hospital go to New York City at that time. She was watching Tangled a lot. Everything for my Easter egg hunt was from the Dollar Tree. It was awesome. <laughs> we watched Trolls um, through Amazon, uh, live streamed it, I think. Um, and then I did some pictures from New York City. I am originally from New York City, so these were just awesome photos someone took of all the streets being just like empty and crazy because you'll never get photos like that again. So I just borrowed them from the internet and just printed them for my album. A haul I did full of mixed media that I still have not played with thoroughly. I apologize about that. I, just, I thought I would have more time to myself in my craft room. Clearly I don't. Um, the draft, NFL draft still happened. We got a new quarterback for our D Miami Dolphins, that um, thing. TikTok, Savage, Classy, Bougie, Ratchet. I have a shirt with that printed on it too now. That's been like the motto for quarantine. This I got off of social media. It's just a Statue of Liberty with a mask. We stay home a lot. And then I started going on walks here. So these were my bridge walks. I live in Florida near beaches. So I have, I can go to different sh major streets and pick a bridge and walk over it with the baby. And we stop and throw seashells. Um, you can always see how it stays cohesive. So this is a Tracy Reed a rainbow collection. So this, 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 and this are all from the same collection. I avidly started reading around this time. I joined Book of the Month, which I <laughs> started off with one book a month that I read, and now I'm up to like four books a month. And I downloaded the app Scrib, Scribe, and I listened to a book while we walk. So on a given walk, I walk for about an hour and a half. Um, so in two to three days, I can listen to an audiobook already too. So I've been like going through literature this <laughs> quarantine. So I'm actually happy for that habit. I'm also happy for my walking habit. Um, this is an old Project Life card. This is all from a collection as well, the same one. So these are like the A side and then the B side. Again, the cohesiveness ties my layouts together. And all the stickers I use are constantly from the Happy Planner collections. I have so many sticker books that I just throw them on top of the page protector. And that's how you see some of these. This is also one. Um, everyone doing like porch photo shoots. These are my friends, kids. Um, her rock collection. She collects rocks now through this whole voyage. My sister's still doing walks. We're playing cra with crafts. There's my Zoe. She's still with us. Mother's Day photo shoot. I was able to still get a photographer to a nearby park. Um, and I did everyone's handprint. Um, Mother's Day was handprints that made them into flowers. 
and they said you your love helps me bloom and then Father's Day the, the dad's got a different version of the handprint but this is on Mother's Day I started my Monet business Monet is a on this side it still shows Mother's Day um, I started my Monet business though in in May so a side hustle that's a hair and skincare line I love the products um, all my customers love the products so if you want information on my Monet business I'll send you a link um, still walking these are all bridges um, that we went over when they came up I got a new stroller for walking this much too one that was more comfortable for Valentina Businesses started opening up. So this was a lo local coffee bar that I started going back to. We lost power one day here. Uh, a lot of gray hairs. I had, was documenting how much I needed to get my hair colored. Uh, my sister's birthday, so she was social distancing with one of her friends. Then we went to the beach again. So my daughter is um, a hype. She's considered hypersensitive. Sens sensitive sensory kids she's a sensory kid so things bother her like getting dirty and and texture on her hands so going to the beach has been getting better but it hasn't always been so so whenever you see beach pictures that's progress the shuttle launched um at the end of may too and some mcdonald's here's june with my card this is a tie-dye paper piece from a paper pad from michael's as well that's as thicker on top of the page protector you can see the dimension parking pass from when we went to the beach she's getting better at better with it we did a new office staff photo this is my staff at my clinic here's that fun rainbow paper still it's still alive this is me using like every single morsel of that paper another you know park close due to COVID-19 photo the Lion Country Safari opened near us which is like a drive-through zoo we did that that day that was fun to get out the house um just her eating or going through feeding therapy right now so eating photos are sometimes good because she's very very picky a trampoline park opened there then it was my birthday um, so I turned 39 this year we went to Okeechobee Steakhouse my pa my in-laws took the baby for the weekend and um, my, my friend made this with the baby's handprint for me on my birthday so I just put an 8 by 10 page protector I got a reading tent in her room. You can see my beautiful flowers. This was Father's Day, and here's the handprint for Father's Day. So all of them, I did a smiley face in it, and they, I made it was a double handprint, and I made it look like a sun. So it was like you are my sunshine. I'm crafty like that. Um, museum. We went to the science museum, children's museum. My mom made a fun photo. So that was the sticker I got for doing the year membership. These are old Mombi cards right here. This is a. Ellie Studio card a pack that I have always who what where when I was writing about you know all of us kind of getting tested for COVID um, a park finally opened up and then everything is closed right now again in August so <laughs> okay and that's why I'll stop so this is starts July so that was um, months January through June um, I did keep up with it some of my journaling is missing but you know that I also keep a happy planner, memory planner, and that's where tons of my journaling goes. So this may be, this is photo heavy for me, always the best photos and highlights of the day. And you can see how the year she progresses where my memory planner, which I'll also post a flip through with it shortly for May, June, July, is all of my writing and my thoughts usually. Um, so I hope you're doing some sort of documenting for this pandemic year. I'm happy that I'll, I have this. And when I flip through this one, 10 years from now, five years from now, I hope it doesn't scream that it was the pandemic year that we just made still great, happy family memories and Valentina grew and learned things. <laughs> So until next time, thank you for joining me for this flip through. Bye, everyone.